down the line. Left puts it inside. And a shot. Campo, Pablo has an opportunity and puts it. Oh! To go in and try to tackle. Here's Rio from distance. And that finds the back of the net. And just like that, the tide is turned as Finley has found the back of the net here. Bruce, you do not let a player of Robbie Finley's caliber get a shot from where he just did. That's unexcusable as a defender. Look at right here, Russin, where's he going? Where's he attacking? Nobody's committing and nobody's cutting off the angle. That's a cardinal sin, especially when you have a player of his quality, the ability to see. Foot race, he's gonna end up being one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and he's beaten. Billy Forbes with another one at the 25 minute mark. Two, nothing, Ryo, O, K, C. Now, we talk about how they go and attack and when you start dealing with the opposite, it's how they come back to defend. You'll see it in the replay in just a second, how they pretty much had the two central defenders really in together, maybe too close. Another breakdown there is nobody really dropping back. Borajo gets caught on the attack, gets caught with his pants down on the far side. Billy Forbes. Resendi gets the rebound, takes the blast a little too much. And again, over the head of Campos, and that's doing something considering he's six foot three. The blast, and it's a goal. And we've got a new goal scorer for Miami FC, and he goes by the name of Ariel Martinez. Ryo 2, Miami 1. That's how you have to do it. You're gonna see right here. As it's Blake Smith, what we've been talking about, takes shots from outside, see what happens. That's what Ariel Martinez had to do. He does it, finds a space, tremendous effort. But again, it all happens because Blake Smith, the one that we were asking to be more active in the match, is able to do so, keeping that play alive. Alive. like seeing goals. Smith, blast. Again, getting and confident. Just wide, getting but you it. like to see that. And, and again, Blake Smith having a greater volume of play, more options from the left, from the middle, from the right. Martinez from about 23. Chips it over. More of a protagonist early on. Through the 18, Dennis, and that's a goal. Miami FC has tied this one up, and Brad Russin is the man who knots it at two apiece. And to keep up with the two team, two headers in the area equals the goal. That's exactly what happens. The ball gets set in, as you're gonna see in the replay. Miami doing a brilliant job of keeping that ball alive, as you're gonna see right here. The rush that's going to the first post, everything changes the tempo. We see Aaron Dennis being able to find the ball, and the second header, the winner, the equalizer, right there by Russin. Not much else that could be done. Beautiful execution and a beautiful. There's three expansion teams in the NASL. Oh, another penalty. And this will be the third. I have my doubts, though. I have my doubts, Bruce. I, it, it looked to me like it was outside. To me, it was outside. Rubiel Vasquez. Let me see right here. No, that's outside, dude. Another, and that's, that's a box and that's call. A He's inching forward, inching forward, and it's in the back of the net. And it's now a 3-2 game as Miami FC has given up their third goal on a PK this season. And the worst part of this is everyone in the building knows. It wasn't. It was not a penalty. Well, refereeing there for you. Anyways, uh, moving on. You saw... As Chavez frame and it's over. It's over the net and the game is over. And Rio OKC earns their first win of.